eating more veggies and uh, seeds and making juices. We we'll buy some of the juices too. So I have the oranges, the carrot juice, and the very green, and I blend them. Those are really good. Um, I love that. So I love these tomatoes. I always get them. They, they're sweeter and they taste good. Asparagus, coconut, almond. Love the sticks, Italian bread sticks with olive oil. Uh, those are a great um, cracker appetizer. I don't know. I put a tomato on top or just I eat them by themselves. They're so yummy. Like a snack. And this ones I just covered them recently with figs and olives. They're really good. I really love those. So, yeah. They're just, I don't know. They're staying there. There you go. Yep. So then I went and I started getting more frozen things uh, recently, but the frozen things that I choose are usually like greens and beans and maybe like, like pies with spinach like this. So then I get soybeans, organic, or some, this is, I never tried this, I'm trying it now for the first time, a melted organic sweet and white corn with peas, Sliced carrots, uh, fancy blue lake, I don't know what that is, and green beans. Hi, welcome. So yeah, I'm showing you guys what I got for, I think, a week and a half too. My Easter is coming up this um, weekend. So at Amame, we like to cook peas. We make a stew, potato, and chicken because my fiance does eat meat and my mother as well, vegetable rice, the chicken, what else? I don't know if you catch those tomatoes, I love those tomatoes, they're sweeter, they're dark tomato, I think you can find them anywhere else, like Trader Joe, um, sprouts, kale, I make salads with kale, um, colorful uh, carrots, they're a little bit sweeter, like that, and I eat a lot of carrots, and I used to make juice, I have a juicer, but uh, maybe in the summer, so I bought the juice, and I don't eat as much dairy, uh, I try to cut it off in the summer, and I got coconut um, yogurt, so it's pretty good, it's a little more expensive, I believe you have to pay three uh, one ninety for it, but it's worth it. What else I got here, um, lentil soup, um, I like it, sometimes I buy it, so I'm just my, um, like in the deli shops for lunch. So I said I'm gonna get some and maybe put a little cup and take with me to work. Jeez. Tomato basil, <laughs> I like that. Um, my fiance is Italian, so he likes to make pizza. Sometimes he makes his dough from scratch, but we found this one. So garlic herbs, dough, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I'm just gonna put it here. Dog is right there. Clyde, Clyde. All right, so he was excited when we came back because we got some raw meat for him. And this is whole wheat pizza dough. Um, just regular, low fat. All right, lots of frozen, um, I, I didn't say lots, I guess, because I wasn't getting much frozen before, but I love raspberry. And they hold very nice, so we can make smoothies and green, um, like ginger lemon blast with ginger. We got ginger. Um, pineapple, so you could just mix different blueberries, and then holy waffles, a bunch of, here I have, I'm going to go back to here because I'm skipping, I'm going to go after the, the fruits, I'm going to show you guys the, um, right here to Matt, thank you Matt for watching, vegetables all over the world are in love right now, vegetarians all over the world are in love right now, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, oh, I try to eat as much as I can healthy. So, uh, I went through a phase when I was organic, raw vegan for 10 months. And then the winter came and I live in New York and it's brutally cold and uh, it was harder for me. I, I was losing too much weight, I wasn't feeling good. So, my mom cooked more and I was eating cooked food and you know, I even eat some um, fish and chicken th this winter. So now that weather is getting better, I'm trying to, to go back to like 
no meat, just organic and um, natural stuff. So yeah, arugula, we like arugula, spinach, um, or eat bread. I eat some bread, you know, I try to eat a little bread. I can't just not eat any bread. So I like raw, but I couldn't find raw. Sunflower seeds, unsalted. And then I found unsalted uh, dry roasted pecans. So I like to put that in like in yogurt or just eat them by itself and mix them together in a bag and snack. Wild blueberries. Those are really good. I love those. Um, like I said, in yogurt or in cereals or just put them in a little container and take it to work. Uh, golden berry blend. So it has like raisins and cranberry. And roast sliced almonds. Yummy. I like those a lot. This and the powder almond, I make cookies from it, or vegan cookies. So one day maybe I'll bake and I'll show you how I bake and what I do. I have a few recipes that I kind of come up with and some that I follow. Uh, or, okay, sweet tooth. You guys love chocolate? Do I can cope with vegetar vegetables? It's okay, I understand. You gotta eat uh, what makes you happy. You gotta make a balance of everything. So this is, I've had this before, it's 72% Belgian dark chocolate. So it's it's not so bitter, but it's so good. It's so, um, it, look at the uh, sugar, 10%. So it's like raw chocolate. This is not the most uh, na um, healthier chocolate, but I love this. And they used to stop making it, they wouldn't buy it for a while. And I, I said, like, why? And they're like, you guys need to write to Trader Joe and they'll bring it back. I don't know. So I did wrote to them. I don't know if it was just me, but dark chocolate covers soybeans with seven grams of protein. So, yeah, I need my protein. I need my iron. Otherwise, I will faint. So uh, those are a great snack. I really like those. Okay. So now here I got olives, I got some gems, raspberry and blueberries. Kalamata olives. So it is preserved, but it's doesn't have many options. And it comes to this just for breakfast. And then spinach kale bites. I love those. Those are really good. Okay, this is yummy. It's a goat cheese. Uh, it doesn't last long, so you gotta eat it quick. It has a, an expiration June 30. Okay, that's not bad. June 30 is not bad. And then I got some spinach copita. It's a Greek peeled spinach ricotta feta cheese. So it does have a little cream, um, cheese in here. Um, like I said, I eat it, but not like balanced, like not too much. I really like, um, you know, you got to be happy with what you eat. And then if you have resistance to it, then you'll never like stick to something. It's not the right way. So that's how I see it. A spinach kale pie. Just pop it in the oven. Quick bite. Quick snack. Um, Matt said, well, before, do it. I'm now, I'm not the only one here. You gonna say hi or just show me vegetables? <laughs> so, you wanna see vegetables? Okay, I do have vegetables. I was showing everybody vegetables. Um, oh, he wanted to say hi. Okay, hi. Okay, I didn't get to say hi because I was showing everything. All right. It's fine. Um, yeah, so this is a part of it. I have some more things in there. I got some food for my dog. I got this time, I got some whole food natural with my dog. Uh, I tried for the first time. I don't know. And then some dentist sticks. I think they're mint up red bones. They're not like those greenies that I usually get, they're different. So now. We'll see. I'm gonna give him one, see if he likes it. I'm trying to open it. Yeah, so this is what I got. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, 
lemon soap. Smells really good. 